feel like it has a slight bit of a of a something, a little bit of something to it. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a get ready with me video for y'all today on this look right here. Just kind of a neutral sort of eye look, but with a my winged liner got a little out of control. So definitely a winged liner. Love this cheek combo, a lip product. So I've got some goodies that are, did I even tell you what it is? Hard candy goodies that are newer and or newer to me. Hadn't tried these before. So I've got a liquid shadow paint kind of product, a liner a lip balm, what would you call this? I don't even know. A lip melt, they call it. And then I've got a couple of, um, what are these called too? We're just all over the place. Soft matte finish blushes. They're the, the matte versions of these. So anyway, some fun hard candy goodies doing this look right here. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Leslie. I love to do get ready with me's, new with drugstore videos. Uh, favorites, reviews, empties, I don't even know, just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I'd love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we are doing a get ready with me, playing with some newer, newer to me hard candy goodies, so let's get to it. Okay, so I already applied some foundation, my eyeshadow primer, brows, and I think that's it. Oh, I set my eyeshadow primer too. So... I got this, so let's start with this. It's an eyeshadow type product, like it's a shadow paint. The Hard Candy, here's what it looks like, Hard Candy Moods Shadow Paint, bold, buildable color, and I got the shade Cake. And it says get bold, buildable pigment packed color in a single stroke. This self-priming, oh, I guess I shouldn't have used my eyeshadow primer. I probably would have anyway, just out of habit. I pretty much always do that. This self-priming shadow blends easily and sets for a no budge finish. It says swipe on, blend, and play. Built-in applicator, self-priming, won't crack or crease, vegan and cruelty free. Okay, packaging wise, I like that the outside like matches the color. That's just always like a nice little detail that it makes it, you know, easy to like pick them in the store and then grab them out of your makeup drawer. Just, you know, nice little details. Here's what it looks like. I don't really smell anything. I guess maybe like ingredients. Let's look at this swatch. I'll do like a full on one and then I'll kind of like blend. Ooh, seems to blend pretty well. Nice, like there's full on and there's blended out. I was gonna say blent out. That's not the word. All right, what do I wanna blend this with? I think I'm gonna blend it with like a brush kind of like this. This is a, I don't even know. I think I got this in a, maybe a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy. I don't even know. This is what it looks like kind of like a smaller shadow brush. And I'm gonna get a little bit on my brush. Like a lot of times I like to do that. I feel like I kind of get better application like that. And just kind of blend this on. Came in closer so I can see better and you can see better. So there's just a very light application. I like this. I mean, talk about just an easy, I look and I like kind of how this blends out. This color is just a good kind of everyday all over shade and like transition shade for me personally. Like this is a good color that works for me. And the edges are blending really well. I like it with a brush. I mean, just for me, that's faster honestly than me using my finger. Like it's easier for me to get a good blend with a brush than to just use my finger. You know what I mean? So I would rather use a brush and just, you know, quickly blend. I find that to be really fast. And it does definitely seem like it sets down for sure, but you have a little bit of play time with it, it seems like. So this formula seems really good. Yeah, I really, really like that. Like this seems very good. Let's look at the swatches. I'm not like, pressing down really hard, but I'm kind of like lightly blending over the top. And they definitely seem pretty stuck. So this is impressive. Applying just a little bit of my face powder kind of up on my brow bone and then just blending down a little bit just to kind of like finish that out. Okay, I'm using an eyeshadow primer, not an eyeshadow primer, an eyeshadow whatever, a makeup remover something. And I'm having to work at getting this off. 
So I'm impressed with this. Okay, then I got this. This is the Hard Candy Color Liquid Eyeliner. It says with Lash Boost Serum. Here is the packaging on it and here is, that's pretty. The eyeliner itself, um, it says, I got the shade Espresso My Feelings, which that's really cute. Um, it says create bold and color daring looks that last. This easy glide, quick dry precision liner delivers highly pigmented color without smudging, feathering, or running. The ultra fine brush applicator lets you create thin and thick lines that stay in place until you're ready to say good night. So here is this. I really like that it kind of comes to a point. That's that's fun and different. And it's sort of like interesting that it, you know, I don't know. What does this look like? It reminds me of like, I don't know, an old pen or something. That's neat. And then here is the applicator on it. Okay, I was gonna do maybe something else with my eyes like I brought in, you know, some of my other hard candy palettes and then the little cute tiny ones, like these little ones, these are cute. But I just kind of like the little like basic eye look and I wanna be able to see this liner pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this. Quite a bit of bend to it. So definitely more like a brush applicator. I mean, it's not a full on brush, but it's a lot more bendy than a lot of applicators like this. That's very pretty. I would describe it as a kind of cool tone, chocolatey brown. It almost looks like it has a little bit of a sheen to it also. I'll swatch it in just a second. Okay, so there is that. That's very pretty. Let's look at a swatch of it. So yeah, like has a little bit of a sheen to it and a cool toned kind of chocolatey brown. So I think Espresso, my feelings, is a good name for it. And I actually really like that applicator. Like even though it had quite a bit of bend to it, I feel like I got pretty precise application with it. This eye is a little bit watery right now and I'm not finding it bleeding and like, you know, getting into the corner of my eyes. So. This seems impressive. Okay, so I applied, what did I do? Mascara, let me go ahead and tell you like what other things I'm wearing on my face. I have the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation in 10 Light Beige, I use that. I use the Alter Ego Eyeshadow Primer, my brows. I have the It Cosmetics Brow Powerful for mascara. I did the e.l.f. Lash and Roll with Milani Anti-Gravity, so that is my lash combo. I did, um, I'm like, where is it? In my hand. The Instant Age Re A what is it? Instant Age Rewind Eraser, what? Multi-use concealer <laughs> in the brightener shade from Maybelline, so I have that on. And then I have Neutrogena, this concealer in Ecru, no. Zero Two Light, yes. Ecru Light 02. Have that on, kind of like right in here, up here, around my nose. A little bit of the Ofra Perfect Cover in Light Nude on my cheeks. I really like this for on my cheeks or on blemishes or something. Great concealer. I was gonna say mascara, no concealer. And then the Ben Nye Luxury Powder and uh, L'Oreal True Match Powder. Okay, oh, and then a little bit of Clump Crusher on my lower lashes. Okay, let's look at this liner. It has been here for a while and it's not moving. So I am very impressed with this. Seems really nice. Let's see if some makeup remover will do anything. This isn't like a, oh, well, actually, this is coming off easier than the shadow paint for sure. So, but I mean, when I was applying it, it seemed pretty long wearing, but it might be one of those liners that to get the most longevity, you might want to set it with some powder maybe. But I mean, like I said, my eye was kind of watering over here and I wasn't finding it running or anything. So, I mean, I'm impressed with that. I like that. Okay. Then I got, I got to keep everything straight so I don't accidentally forget something. What else? Okay. We've got that there. We tried this. We tried the shadow paint. So then I have a couple of these. I've tried these in the like glowy versions and love them. These are the face off blushes. I mean the packaging. So cute. But these are the blurring blush soft matte finishes and I got double take and hot shot. Double take 
and Hot Shot. Here is what it looks like. It says the Face Off Triple Threat. It's not just a blush. Hydrating, blurring, buildable. Um, it says a forget you have it on weightless blush that blurs the skin for a soft focus effect and a lasting matte finish. Boosted with a blend of antioxidants, hyaluronic acid, and plant-derived squalene, the cream blush transforms skin to a silky texture for a soft flush of color and a second skin feel. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one, which is Double Take. So I'm going to start with this kind of lighter-ish pink shade. I love this packaging. I think it's just so cute. Like, it just... I don't know, looks almost 80s in such a fun way. I absolutely love it. So just gonna start applying this. So it's like this kind of a scoopy, almost like a lip gloss kind of an applicator on it. Where can I put this? Put this on the table. And then I'm just gonna tap this on. That's beautiful. Really nice blend. I feel like it has a slight bit of a of a something of a something. I was going to say a sheen or a shine, but I said a something. A little bit of something to it. Yeah. Like even when I first kind of swatch it, I feel like I see just a little bit of something there. That's pretty. And at least that shade, I do feel like I got like a little bit more um, like playroom with it. It doesn't seem cr so crazy pigmented that I have to be like really light handed with it. It seems like it's a little bit more of a forgiving, buildable formula, which I do really like. I mean, I like all makeup, but this is just, I like a blush that you can build it up, but that doesn't mess up your makeup underneath. And this seems like that kind of a formula where it's not gonna, you know, mess up my makeup. It doesn't need so much building that it messes it up. You know what I mean? Now I'm gonna use Hot Shot, which this looks like a really pretty kind of like bright reddish raspberry. Ooh, that's fun. So obviously this is a brighter, deeper shade, so I have to be a little bit more light-handed with this one, but blends really well, and I love this color. This is so pretty. I'm gonna take my powder brush and go along the edges. I didn't add any more powder, but just to kind of do that last little blend, I like to do this with my, bl with my blush. Words are hard today with my blush because it just kind of like softens everything a tiny bit. These are pretty. Let's look at swatches. Okay, so the brighter shade, Hot Shot. There is that one. Beautiful, just like raspberry, reddish pink color. Ooh, that's so pretty. And then what's this one? Double take, yeah, double take. Let's look at this one. So kind of lighter, softer, really sweet pink. I'm impressed with these. I like these too. Okay, then last up for lips, I grabbed this. This is what it looks like. This is the Instapout Lip Melt. Softens and plumps lips. Creamy color, soft shine. And I got the shade Meat Cute. Meat Cute. Here is what it looks like. I did try this and I, I like this. This is the creamy nourishing, it says creamy nourishing color. What does it say? Melts into lips to instantly awaken your look with a juicy plump pout. Blend of natural oils rich in antioxidants, fatty acids, and vitamins help to soothe, condition, and plump. So it's that kind of like balm sort of packaging on it. Show you a quick swatch of this color. What did I say it is? Meat cute, meat cute. This is really pretty. And it smells so good. I was trying to think of how to describe it. It almost smells like a, like a nutty dessert or something. It's not super vanilla. It's more on the like hazelnut or something like that side. But I really like the scent of it. Like something you would smell in a coffee shop, but not coffee. And it is so glossy and beautiful. And it has a little bit of like a cooling slight tingle something feeling on the lips. I think this looks beautiful. It feels amazing, like a balm. And it actually wears like pretty well for being this kind of really glossy, balmy sort of a product. 
I was impressed with how long I could feel at least the like hydration on my lips. So I'm impressed with this and I really like this color. It's just a really sweet pink. Okay, so here is the finished look. I'm impressed with all of these products. I mean, really just like thinking through each thing. I love this. I am not a huge um, like shadow paint or liquid shadow person for like a main color. Definitely love them for like a, um, oh, like a more metallic look on the lids or something like that inner corner highlight or inner part of my lid. Definitely those kind of colors, but like a matte, I don't reach for them a ton, but this one I think I definitely will because I really like the blend of it and I love this color. This is a great just kind of everyday sort of color for me. So I definitely will reach for this. I'm very impressed with this. I like the eyeliner. I mean, other than the fact that the um, swatch seemed to come off quickly, how it applied, the color of it, how it looks, I'm impressed with this too. And I actually surprisingly like the applicator, even though at first I wasn't so sure about it. Love these. I think these are beautiful. I love how they blend. I love the colors. They're cute. They're just adorable. And I'm impressed with this too. I mean, I'm impressed with everything, y'all. And it's all affordable. So that's so fun. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video and getting ready with me today. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below if you've tried any of these products. I would love to hear your thoughts on them. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next video.